Hey, this is Bill, and I hope you're doing well. In this video tutorial, what we're going to do is look at putting a PayPal button into your sales funnel. Let's take a look first at a proposed sales funnel. First, we have our capture page, and it's always good to have the capture page because, for example, of course you want the sale, but if someone does not decide to purchase at least using a capture page, you have captured their information. Now, it's not mandatory, but it's a very good idea to think twice about if you were considering not having a capture page. But once they go through the capture page, you're bringing them perhaps to a page where you're maybe giving them two offers. And of course, if they choose one offer, they'll come to this page or the other, they'll come to this. And here's where you're going to have the order button or this page, okay? Now, what you'll see on our order page with PayPal, first they go to PayPal and in the PayPal button options that we're going to create, you'll see that they give you the option for a two different redirects. One is a cancellation button and the other would be the success button if they're going to follow through with the order or not. Now if the person cancels before placing the order, PayPal gives you the option to send them to a page. So let's say that we create a cancel page and we also, in case they do finish the order, we give them a success page. Now in this scenario, what we're doing here on a cancellation page, you can offer the same offer that you did here, but you may give a 10, 20, 30 percent discount. Whereas if you bring them to this page, perhaps you want to give them another offer. Now there are times when you have this here and the order button actually brings them to another page that says, congratulations, why don't you add this to your order as well? And I'm sure you're familiar with those where then you would have the item that they wanted plus another item or simply the item that they were planning on purchasing. And then of course that would then go to PayPal and you have your options. But I just want to help you understand it's a good idea to map things out like this. I do sales funnels for different marketers and when you have the visual, it begins to help you understand where to put what. Okay, so now let's jump over to Lead Capture Page Boss. And what we're going to look at is a landing page that we're going to put our button on. So here we have our landing page, just a simple page. And if we view it on the internet, Perhaps in this situation, you're selling a CD. And we don't have a button specified on this page. This is just a demo. So we want to put an order button right here. Okay, so we're going to go now to PayPal. And when you're in your PayPal account, you have to have either a business or a premier account to create buttons and accept credit cards. Once you make sure you have that membership level, you click on Merchant Services and then you go to Create Payment Buttons for your website. Here, you're going to click on Create a Button. Now, there's various kinds of buttons within PayPal and you should be familiar with them. You can do a simple Buy It Now or Check Your Shopping Cart or Take a Donation, Gift Certificates subscriptions, automatic billing, or installment plans. So here we're going to create a simple buy now button. And remember we're doing a music CD and you can choose an item ID but we're going to say our music CD is $6.99 and you have the option to create drop down menus so if you wanted to say here we have music CD you have to have a label to your menu and then we say disk 1, disk 1 and 2 and we'll just say we only have two options. 
So if you get disc one, it's 699. If you get both of them, you get a discount and you only pay 999. And we'll click done. And you can test your menu here. Okay. If you're gonna charge shipping, you'll put that here as well as tax. And then under merchant ID, I recommend that you use the secure merchant account ID. This is for tracking inventory and profit and loss if you need to use that section. And then we do want to look at the advanced features. Are you going to allow your customer to change order quantities? Yes or no? Are you going to allow the purchaser to add special instructions for you? For example, if you're shipping a physical product and they want you to leave it on the garage steps or at the back door or in the doghouse, uh, you give them the option to leave this here. Perhaps they prefer UPS over FedEx. Whatever the case might be, you give them the option to give you special instructions. If you don't need their shipping address, then choose no. Then you have those two options that I mentioned when we looked at the sales funnel. Here's where they cancel their checkout and here's where they go to a success page or a thank you page when they place their order. A lot of times on that thank you page there's a link to download the product if it's a virtual product. So you want to make sure you use these and in the lead capture page boss you could use another landing page or duplicate the landing page and then use that URL to send them to. Once you have that done, you want to click Create Button. That's going to bring you to this page where you have your code. And we're going to click on that and then we're going to choose Copy. I like to then paste that code into a Notepad document or WordPad, OpenOffice, Microsoft Word, whatever it is. I like to paste it and just keep it there on the side. Now let's go back to our capture page and place this code. We now come down to the WYSIWYG box where we want to put our button on the page and in this case we have right here the place where the button would normally show up to continue to company or some other site. What we're going to do is simply click on that and then we're going to delete it and I'm just using the delete button on my keyboard now we see where our cursor is and that is where we want our button to be for the PayPal. Now what we're going to do is simply click on this little red button here called Add HTML. Now we're going to paste our PayPal button code there and click Insert. You see that inserts the code right into the page. Now let's go ahead and click Save Changes and now let's view our page here on the internet. Okay, so here we see our music CD button where we can order the two different options and if we click buy now we're directed here to PayPal where we see what we've chosen to purchase we're asked to log in to complete that purchase. Once we finish this purchase we would then be redirected to the success or the thank you page that we identified. And at this point there's not a cancellation button but if we went into the PayPal account and then click cancel that would send us to the cancel page. If you have any questions feel free to create a ticket over at leadcapturepagebosshelp.com. If you would like to have us do your page for you or create your sales funnel for you, create a ticket or give us a call and we'd be happy to help you out. I wish you lots of success in all of your marketing.